welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be making some fun Christmas cocktails. I'm so excited to share them with you. We are going to be making an apple pie on the rocks, Andy's mint hot chata, and a cranberry mimosa. So I have all the different alcohols we'll need here and then I have all of my mixers to decide. So let's just get started. I'm gonna start off with the apple pie on the rocks. So we're just gonna be needing the fireball and vanilla vodka. Okay, so first up we have the apple pie on the rocks. I'm really excited about this one because it's cinnamon and apple. So very excited about this. We have apple juice, fireball and vanilla vodka, my mixer, cinnamon, cinnamon sticks, and brown sugar. So starting off with the shaker, we're just going to put everything in there. So we need one ounce of Fireball, one ounce of vanilla vodka, four ounces of apple juice. Also, I've never made these drinks before, so this is a first time for me as well. One, two, Whoa. Three and four. If any of you try out any of these drinks, please tag me in your Instagrams. I wanna see your versions of them. I'm excited to try them. We're gonna be trying these together. Just a pinch of cinnamon. That looks good. And then just ice and shake. Before we pour our drink into our glass, I'm just going to wet the rim and sugar the rim with brown sugar. And then we are just going to garnish with a cinnamon stick. And there we have it, an apple pie on the rocks. This looks delicious, I'm very excited to try. So let's see how it is. Wow, that is so good. I can taste the cinnamon and the apple juice. I honestly can't even really taste the vanilla vodka. It's very sweet, very sugary with the brown sugar rim. I'm gonna have to give this like a 9.5. I really do like this. So that is the apple pie on the rocks. Now let's move on to the cranberry mimosa. Okay, so this next drink is a cranberry mimosa. I'm excited to make this one and it's actually super simple. All you're gonna need is cranberry juice and champagne and that's kind of all that is in the drink. But we also have cranberries for garnish as well as a sugar rim and some lime. So let's just get into it. So first we're gonna start with the sugar rim and all you have to do is take your lime and coat the rim of your flute with lime juice. That's just gonna help the sugar stick and give it an extra flavor. So then we're just gonna dip it into our sugar. And there you have it, your sugar rim. It's a super simple way to make your glass look fancy and it just makes the drink all around taste a lot better. I'm definitely a sugar rim type of gal, even on my margaritas, I would rather have a sugar rim than a salt rim. Now I have to open this champagne bottle and I'm a little bit nervous. The only times I ever open champagne bottles is for a celebration when you literally shake it beforehand. So let's hope I can open this without making a mess in my kitchen. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry if that literally just blew your ears out. So we're actually not even starting with the champagne. We're gonna start off with the cranberry juice. I like to do about a third cranberry juice and two thirds champagne, but that's totally up to you. Since I'm not making a batch of this, I'm just pouring it into the flute. It's a little bit different than the directions I found online. But we're just gonna go one third cranberry, and then you just top it off with the champagne. Now for garnish, we're just gonna take our cranberries. I'm gonna go wash them. And then all you're gonna do is take a toothpick and poke through two or three cranberries on each. Set it across the glass. And there you have it, a cranberry mimosa. I'm gonna pick up my garnish, just take a sip and give it a try. Wow, that is great. The sugar rim really adds because as you know, cranberry juice is pretty bitter. And I'd say champagne is sweet, but also has like a little bitterness to it as well. So that sugar rim really helps out with that bitter taste. I'm a big fan. I'm gonna have to give this a nine. I think I like the apple pie on the rocks a little bit more just cause it has more flavor and there's more to it. This is a really simple drink, but great for maybe Christmas morning, have a little mimosa with cranberry juice rather than orange juice. Wow, that is delicious. Maybe New Year's Eve morning. That would be really cute. Still in the holiday spirit. If you guys try this one out, please tag me in your pics. I'll cheers with you here for that. And now let's move on to the hot chata, which I'm so excited for. Okay, so I can't believe we're already onto the last drink, but last we have the Andy's Mint Hot Chata. 
This one I'm very excited about because I've never even tried anything like this. So we need rum chata, which I've never had before, peppermint schnapps, milk. It called for whole milk, but I'm gonna be using almond milk, Andy's mints, and then some whipped cream and the hot chocolate mix. So I actually already went ahead and boiled this milk. It is steaming hot. And so we're just going to add the hot chocolate mix right into there. We are also adding a half of cup of rum chata. That feels like a lot. Okay, that looks good to me. And then an ounce of the peppermint schnapps. And then we're just gonna mix that all up. It smells really good. Now I'm just gonna be pouring this into our glass. Okay, so all that's left is just to top it off with yummy treats for garnish. So I'm gonna be using, obviously, whipped cream because you have to put whipped cream on hot chocolate. I'm gonna use some chocolate sauce to drizzle on top. And lastly, I'm gonna take an Andy's mint, play off of that peppermint chata and just kind of break it up and put it on top. And there we have it. This is the Andy's Mint Hot Chata. Oh, this looks so good. I'm very excited to try. So I don't want to burn my tongue, but let's just, let's give this a try. Oh my God, this is a dessert. This is not a drink, this is a dessert. And this is so good. And this is by far my favorite. Oh my gosh. I definitely give this a 10 out of 10. Definitely would recommend making this if you are over 21. If you're under 21, I'm very sorry, but you can still add Andy's mints to the top of yours and maybe add some peppermint flavor. Wow, 10 out of 10, like totally recommend. Like I will be drinking this all the time. <laughs> all right, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I've never done a drink video on my channel, but I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it. And if you do try any of these drinks, Please tag me in your pictures, I wanna see them. Overall, I definitely have to say the rum chata drink, hot chata, was definitely my favorite. It is a dessert, it is truly a dessert and it is a Christmas miracle. <laughs> so, thanks again for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys tomorrow, bye. Mom, this is so good.